Reptars in the state of Maharashtra in India. This region that it's in is a jungle called Melgat. The organization Melgat Mitra that I was working with has been working with the 28 most remote villages in the jungle, of which Rui Pitar is one. Rui Pitar had a really good community dynamic and they were ready to really take charge of a project. They were currently walking about half to three quarters of a mile to a well and the women would do this every morning and then carry the water back on their head. So they really wanted and had a need for clean water right in their village. The tank in the village that's supposed to hold the water has never held any water. It's been there for about 12 years. It had pretty much just started to disintegrate and fall apart, so we had to bring in some masons from neighboring villages to repair the tank. As well, there were pipes that went all the way down to the bore well where the, pipe, where the pump was, but they were all rusted and rotten and in no condition to use, so we had to redig the trench, run new pipes, run power lines, and then install a new pump as well. However, there is no electricity in the region. Melgut Meech's expertise was really in community mobilization and different kinds of capacity building development projects. So we teamed up with another organization in southern India called Oroville, and they have a branch called Aurora that does predominantly solar water projects. There was also a couple from Atlanta. They were members of the Atlanta Engineers Without Borders group, and they were looking for a project to fund and got in touch with Melgat Mitra, and they came to look at this. The whole process took about six months from the time that we started talking about realistically doing this project until it was built. Throughout the process, we were able to identify leaders who had never been leaders before. There is a gentleman, Guntu, who was unbelievable in kind of getting everybody together and mobilizing the community. And he was somebody who really hadn't um, been on our radar screen as a leader in this village. So it was really interesting to see characters like that emerge. The folks at Aurora said they would only need about three or four days in the village to install everything. But they want, by the time they arrived, they wanted the trench done and they wanted all of the, kind of the physical work done so they could come and do the technical stuff. So the trench ended up taking about 10 days to two weeks to complete, and it really had the feel of almost a community fair. Everybody was outside and kind of watching other people work. It was a, a very social event, which I think helped a lot. I don't think digging a trench is anybody's idea of a good time, but I think it brought out an amazing community dynamic, and I think it definitely reassured us at Melgat Mitra that we made a good choice in working with this village. So it was really this collaboration between the villagers, Aurora from Oroville, and the couple from Atlanta and Melgat Mitra that made this work really well together. Thank you.